Welcome to my channel. It's your girl Giovanna J. Today's video will be a tutorial on these super cute knotless braids. I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The hair that I'm using is the Expression Pre-Stretched Hair in the color 2. They ran out of 1B, so I had to go with this color, but I use this hair all the time. And some Shining Jam, also this Rat Tail Comb. I also use this comb all the time. I love this comb. This comb is the goat. And I'm also using this rack that I got from Amazon. And this is how it looks once the hair is prepped. I highly, highly, highly recommend prepping your hair. It saves so much time. Even if you don't have a rack, you can prep it on the table or however you need to. Make sure that your hair is prepped because it already takes forever doing your own hair. And this just saves so much time. I'm also just showing you guys the size pieces that I used. I was going for like a medium size look, which is in between small and medium. So I feed in about five to six pieces per braid, depending on where I am in my hair. Some parts are thicker, some parts are thinner, and you may want to add more pieces depending on how thin or less pieces depending on how thick your hair is. So now let's get into parting. Of course, you cannot see the back of your head, so it is super important to have as many mirrors as you can. So I use this mini mirror. I'm also showing you like a behind the scenes of how it literally looks when I'm doing my parts. I use my main bathroom mirror, the medicine cabinet mirror, and then I use the mini mirror that you've seen. So the key is to use as many mirrors as you can find <laughs> so that you can see um, what you're doing in the back. So I tried to pre-part. I started getting frustrated, so I stopped and I just went right into braiding. So I'm just gonna let y'all watch me do a few braids and then I'll jump back in later to tell you guys how I feed in the hair. To do a knotless braid, you are pretty much going to start by splitting your hair into three pieces. You're going to braid your natural hair about two or three times, and then you're going to go ahead and add the hair in. So once your index finger is on the top of the braid, you're ready to add your hair in, and you're pretty much just going to wrap the hair around your index finger. That is the easiest way that I can explain it. So you're gonna wrap the hair around your index finger. One piece goes on top, one piece goes under your index finger, and you continue to braid. So that is the easiest way that I can explain it. You guys will see me do it a few more times. I just changed 
I also wanted to mention when you're feeding in here and you're going over your index finger, make sure you're using the same index finger every time. So every time, for example, if your left index finger is on top and that's when you fed in here the first time, anytime your left index finger is on top, that's when you need to feed in here again when you're ready to. So I know sometimes both index fingers are on top and that may have been a little confusing, but whenever, if you fed in the first time with your left index finger on the top or you fed in over your left index finger, you're gonna keep feeding in over that left index finger. I just wanted to throw that in because I didn't want to confuse anyone. So yeah. <laughs> all right y'all so same process we're gonna split our hair into three pieces braid braid we're gonna feed in over our index finger braid braid feed in over our index finger braid braid so now you're gonna see me pretty much switching grips of course, I can't braid all the way down with my hand behind my head, so I do have to move my hand in front of my head eventually, and it's pretty much the same process with adding the hair. This time, it's going to go in between your middle finger and your ring finger, and you're going to still put it over your index finger, and you're just going to continue to braid. <laughs> that I put it in between my middle finger and my ring finger is just to hold it so that it doesn't slip while I'm feeding it in. Really simple. I promise you once you do it a few times, you'll get it. But if you guys do want a more detailed video on how to feed in hair, I got y'all. Just let me know down in the comments. has to be the most difficult part of doing your own hair so in order for me to get my parts as clean as possible I do a rough draft and then I go back over it with jam shine and jam just helps straighten up your parts it allows the comb to glide through easier and it allows your hair to separate neatly so if you want clean and neat parts I would recommend using jam for sure total of three days to do only because I only spent about three hours doing it each day so in total I it really took me nine hours but I had so much to do that I had to spread it out in between three days so that's why you'll see me doing the front first and then I did the middle because I ended up putting it in a ponytail that day so that I could handle what I needed to handle and then I finished the rest the following day so I just wanted to throw that out there usually I would just start from the bottom to the top but 
I did it that way. And I'm kind of happy I did because it helped me make sure that the front looked really good and then the middle was just like the middle. <laughs> Pretty much at the end, I'm just showing you guys how I dip my hair into hot water. This is super important. It helps loosen up the braids so that it's not stiff. And then I put mousse to loosen up the top and also get rid of any flyaways. But yeah, these came out super cute. I am definitely very proud of these. I got so many compliments on these. People were really surprised when I told them that I actually did my own hair. So that just says a lot. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Baby, you can give us something. Baby, I can run